It's your boy Testicles, and today we're going to talk about something with just a little touch of seriousness, but don't worry, don't get sad, don't fret, we still got the topic of video games, okay? But we're going to have something else added on top of it, and it's going to be the discussion of ADHD. I have had ADHD all my life, and not once have I taken medication for it, and sure, it's been a struggle to try and maintain and find methods for myself to work around it, but you know, you have your good days and your bad days. Like an example, sounds are amplified by tenfold for me. Like if I'm doing something, uh, high school, I'm doing a test, I'm doing an exam, or you know, I'm just working, and I hear someone drop their pencil because they got them damn slippery fingers, and they go whoop, and I hear that, I can't get it out of my head, and my focus is gone. I'm in another world. I'm chilling with my boys in Narnia, trying to find where the hell this pencil came from, and I start thinking, okay, who dropped it? Who's the idiot? And through all my thoughts. I then realize, wow, I don't even know what the teacher just said for the past 30 minutes. Like, it literally just, it's like an escape from reality, focusing on a certain sound. And not only that, but there's like certain sounds that just bother me deeply as well. For me, it's just all sounds. Like, I don't like loud sounds either. But chewing with your mouth open? <clears throat> okay, that probably sounded really bad in the microphone. <laughs> I'm sorry if I just destroyed your ears, but... The sound of people chewing their mouths open, just it gives me a, a feeling of cringe, you know? A chill thinking about it, because it just bothers me so deeply. I just want to smash my head into pavement. I literally can't tolerate it. I can't explain it to you, but it pisses me off to a level that I can't even understand. But, as a kid, there was one thing that could help me learn how to focus and concentrate on these tests and doing homework, and that was video games. And that segues right into the topic of this video, how the FDA has just approved the first video game in all of history that can be prescribed as a method to help children with ADHD. I think this is huge, and I'm glad that video games are finally getting the recognition they deserve, that they can benefit people, not how the media and some individuals are like, Oh, video games bad, make you violent! Ugh. No, video games help people in many ways that people who don't play them have no idea or understand. As you can see here, this is the article on The Verge that kind of just spawned this idea into my head to make a video about it. It inspired me tremendously because, you know, I have ADHD. I love video games. Uh, let's go up quick. This is the writer, Sean Hollister. This is his at Starfire2258. We got to give credit to these people. Credit to the site. Credit to the writer. It's only the most respectful thing to do. But let's go down. This is being developed by Akili Interactive, and the game is called Endeavor X. It's the first video game that can legally be marketed and prescribed as medicine in the US. That phrase alone blows my mind. Imagine if you thought about it years ago, when I was a kid in the arcade playing Marvel vs. Capcom 2, there would be a day and age where video games are legally marketed and prescribed as medicine. Blows my mind. I love that we are just going to these kind of like levels of technology and understanding. But uh, let's go down. So this is the FDA talks about authorizing this. It's an iPhone iPad game. Okay, guys. So don't go with the meme saying, oh, you know, that's bad. We don't like mobile games. Mobile games are the most accessible, especially for children. Instead of buying a PC or even a console, a phone is very cheap. It makes sense. So don't get upset. I've already watched the video too for the um, game. I'm going to link it down below so you can watch it as well. Sure, you know, it's a mobile game. Graphics aren't the most impressive thing. So don't be too hostile on it, okay? Give them a break. It's beautiful. Let's go down here. They went through seven years of clinical trials that studied over 600 children to figure out whether this was a fact that the game could help their ADHD. Let's go down here. Okay, the answer is yes from the company's favorite of the five studies. Okay, okay, favorite of the five, that's a, uh, but you know, there's a yes. One third of kids treated no longer had measurable attention deficit on at least one measure of objective attention after playing the obstacle dodging target collecting game for 25 minutes, 25 minutes a day, that's it? Five days a week for four weeks. Oh, that's interesting. Improvements in ADHD impairments follow a month of treatment. Endeavor RX were maintained up for up to a month. The most common side effects being frustration and headache. Yo, you know what? That is the least of your worries from a video game. Play some League of Legends, go into ranked, and I swear to God, these symptoms are like just the surface level of what you're going to feel. My God, that's not bad at all. And you know, it's kind of cool that these are natural symptoms from playing a game. Everyone can get them. And it's nice to know that this is an option for your child to try instead of just popping pills. I, I really like this a lot. It makes me happy. 
That said, we're talking about a study by doctors who work for game developers, according to disclosures at the bottom of the study. Okay. But not sufficient to suggest that it should be used as an alternative to establish and recommend treatments for ADHD. So, you know, it doesn't work for everybody. Again, makes sense. Everyone has different ways to help cope with ADHD, and I know this for a fact. I know other people who have it, and, you know, some of you need medicine. That's the reality of it. Sadly, you do. And for some of us, we can just... I lost my train of thought. Like, there was, there was my distraction right there. I was paying attention to this stupid phone thing. Crystal clear telephone. My God, the ads got me. But as I was saying, we all have our different ways of dealing with it. That's it. There's no shame in it that you have to take medication. Don't feel shame. Do what you got to do to help yourself get through the day and feel better. All right, let's go down more. Um, it's pretty exciting to see an idea we followed for years, make it this far. In 2014, we wrote how this video game might be the future of ADHD and Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's as well! Yeah, I didn't go through the article entirely yet. I just read the headline. I was like, okay, this is going to be great for a video. Wow, that's actually interesting. So Alzheimer's as well. The real thing, it's not in the future anymore. Nope, it sure isn't. We are there. We are the future. Yeah, so that's basically the gist of it. The rest of the article is not going to really tell us more than we just found out. We got all the information we needed. Anyways, that's it from your boy Test Eagles. I want to know down below, what do you think about the idea that video games are now going to be legally prescribed as medication to help people with ADHD? And also down below, I really want to know, do you have ADHD? And if so, how do you deal with it? Do you take medication or are there methods that you naturally have that help you like I do for myself. I don't know. I mean, I can make a video separate to this where I could talk about these methods, but I'm just very curious to understand how other people deal with it like I do. And again, don't feel shame if you take medication. It's not a bad thing. Sometimes, you know, it's just what helps you. And if it helps you, that's all that really matters. So on that note, I'm about to peace out. Again, I don't know how to end videos, okay? I'm struggling here. Give your boy a break.